Fort Worth is going to have a new mayor this year for the first time in a decade. And this week, we learned that Tarrant County could also see some new leadership as well. As Jason Allen reports now, it has been 14 years since the state's third largest county had somebody new at the top. We are fed up with this. After a year of scrutiny of local government decisions, there's another challenge for a leadership position, this time in Tarrant County. Former Tarrant County Republican Chair Tim O'Hare announced he'll run for county judge, a position he said most people may not have been familiar with before the pandemic. But now people know it's an extremely important position, and uh, we need a strong leader, a strong conservative in Tarrant County to stand up and do the right things. And if I'm elected, I'll do that. That office has been held since 2007 by Glenn Whitley, also a Republican. When we reached out to him, though, the judge wasn't ready yet with an announcement of his own. It's no secret that over the course of the last few years, I've had conversations about the future of the county and its next chapter of leadership with many community leaders and colleagues. Whitley sent us in a written statement. Right now, he continued, I'm focused on leading Tarrant County's efforts to distribute vaccines, recover our economy, and work with our legislative delegation through the remainder of this session. He continued by saying he looked forward to sharing a decision on his next steps. If Whitley ends his run, it would be another change at the top on the west side of the metro, with a new mayor taking over for Betsy Price in Fort Worth next month. O'Hare's announcement included the support of the county sheriff, the county GOP chair, and a list of several state representatives. It, enough is enough. I mean, we, our country is being turned upside down. Right is wrong, wrong is right. We need strong leaders who are willing to stand up to the mob. In Tarrant County, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.